The classic Warren Buffett style of investing is to invest in strong companies and hold on to them. Well, that really reigns true only because the markets have basically gone straight up for the last 30 years, but that in no way is guaranteed to continue happening into the future. Hell, there was even a 10 year period here, call it from 1999 to 2009, where the markets didn't go up. They went sideways and even a little bit down. So how can we protect our investments if the markets don't just continue going straight up in the future. In today's video, I'm going to go over a strategy that does this. That'll be real simple. That'll take about a minute. But then I'm going to go into how you can create some conditional orders that will semi-automatically exit your positions for you if the markets begin to turn down so that you don't even have to be manually paying attention and manually making the decision for yourself. It'll all be automated. Like if you're excited and let's go. So right now I am running a strategy on my thinkorswim chart that buys, you can see the little green arrow here at the very beginning of the chart, just buys the SPY daily chart and never sells. It took a $5,000 position. And if I scroll all the way to current day, you can see that position will be up $58,400. I just want you to keep that in mind. I just want that to be the baseline as we talk about the next strategy for a little bit of compare and contrast. Of course, this number is very high. And of course, much like I said in the introduction of this video, this is how people want you to invest because in the past, the markets have just continued to go up, right? But the point of this video is how to protect your downside risk for the times when the market doesn't just go straight up, just in case that happens over a long period of time in the future. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and turned on our strategy, which is a very simple one. We are simply exiting the market when price crosses below the 200 simple moving average. And you will see with this strategy turned on with $5,000 positions, we are now only up $11,500 compared to the $58,000 that we were earlier. And you'll say, Trey, well, that's kind of ridiculous. That's ridiculously bad. And you're not wrong. But once again, remember, what is the purpose of this conversation of this video? A buy and hold strategy like the one we first tested works extremely well in extremely bullish market conditions, which we have been in for a very long time. And who knows? We may continue to be in over the next two decades. I don't know where the market's going to go. No one knows. The point of this is how you can protect downside risk. Because just like I said, I don't know, maybe we do go bullish for the next two decades. Maybe we don't. Maybe the market has a horrible next two decades. And this is just an idea in a way for how you can help protect yourself. Let's take a look at some examples. So COVID happens, right? This is 2020, the massive market drop. You end up getting stopped out of the market here. The market then does another 26% down. And guess what? You capture none of that loss. You can see this is your PL down here in the bottom. You don't capture any of that loss before you get back in and begin capturing profit again. If we scroll back to uh, even crazier times, if I can find 2008, a couple more years back, here we go. 2008, of course, this is the uh, housing crash. The market drops something like 55% from all-time highs. Look at your PL here. You're capturing none of that. You go into 2007. This is November 2007. You are up $5,600. You come back into the markets in June of 2009, being up $5,300. So yes, I'm sorry, you lost $300. Maybe risk-free investing is a bit hyperbolic, but I'm allowed slight hyperbole in my titles of videos, right? You're going to lose. Okay, you lost a little bit of money before you got stopped out, right? But you did not lose that 50% drawdown that the hold strategy had, right? Let me actually go ahead and do this. Let's turn back on just that buy and hold strategy. If I turn this back on, this is, of course, the one that's up $58,000, up way more money. But look at the drawdown comparisons. During COVID, you go from being up thirty-three grand 
to now only being up 20 grand. And I say only up 20 grand, but that is a $13,000 or like 35% loss on your portfolio during that drop. Could you swallow something like that? And what if it doesn't bounce back? The market doesn't have to bounce back. It did this time and it always has in the past. Will it always do that? And maybe it will. Maybe it will always do that. But once again, ways to protect yourselves. This is the 2008 crash. You go from being up $12,000 to by the time it's at the bottom, you're now only up $2,000. That is massive drawdown. Yes, you're up a lot more money. Yes, you've made a lot more money because the markets have gone straight up, but the max drawdown swings are way, way larger on this just buy and hold strategy than it is our uh, risk-free our risk free investing strategy. And I should also mention that if you get this code yourself, you'll be able to come into the COG and change, of course, your position size if you want to test different position sizes, but you'll be able to change the moving average length just that easily as well. If you want to take this, kind of tweak it, maybe find what moving average length you think works the best in your own back testing. Just wanted to make that apparent as well. But that's the strategy. Now let's go ahead and talk about how you can set up conditional orders that will automatically exit your positions when the market crosses below this 200 simple moving average. If you're interested in having access to the strategy that I just showed you so that you can tweak it yourself, or if you're interested in copying the conditional orders that we're about to go over, both of them will be available on my website, daytradingstrategies.net for you to easily import into your trading platform. Click the link at the top of the description and go sign up right now. All righty, let's go ahead and set up a conditional order, which is an order that you will have to create manually. That's why I said it's a semi-automated trading strategy. But once you create the order, then anytime that the S&P 500 or SPY ETF, in this case, crosses below the 200 SMA, the strategy will sell your share. So you have to create the order, but then you don't have to watch the market anymore. It will automatically execute based on the conditions that you, of course, give the order. To do all of that, first off, we need to make sure that our auto fill is turned off. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and get my active trader open and my auto send is already unchecked in this instance. So just making sure that that is done. If I come back in, well, let's actually close all of this. Let's get my active trader back, close this off. Let's just do this. And then I right click buy. Now, since my auto send is turned off, I get the order confirmation dialog modal. From here, I'm gonna go to edit. That's gonna pop up this little order entry tool slide bar from the bottom. From here, I'm gonna click on this very little cog. Sorry, I know this is very click intensive. I kind of wish, and honestly, maybe they do have a better way to do this. This is just how I know how to do it. Um, but this now brings us to our order rules, and this is where we tell the order when to execute. So, of course, for us, we would set it to sell. We would set our quantity to obviously how many shares you want to sell be it your whole position be it whatever you decide to do we're going to set it up as a uh well we're going to leave it as a limit order actually no we're not i apologize we're going to make it a market order because what's going to happen if you leave this as a limit order with the limit price if when the smp crosses back below the 200 sma you are too far below that limit order, it of course won't fill. It'll just place the limit order, but you won't sell because you are below the limit price, right? So we are going to set it as a market order. Our time and force, we don't want to be day. Day time and force means that at closing bell, the order will cancel. We of course don't want that looking at the daily chart here. We're going to set ours to good till canceled or G. T C and now we're going to come down finally to the conditions. If I click into the symbol, it will auto populate with what's on the chart and then we can come into the method. We're going to go study and we're going to go edit. That's going to bring up our study order condition modal. I know there's a lot of button presses. I know there's a lot of different screens we're going through right now, but as always, I'm trying to cover it as slowly and, and as, as easily as I can. This is a YouTube video. Feel free to scroll back on the uh, video player if you can't figure out um, exactly where we click to bring these things up. But I'm going to set mine to the close is less than the simple moving average with a length equal 
to 200. You would of course adjust this to whatever length you find works best for you, but simple enough now when the closing price of SPY closes below the 200 simple moving average, it will sell. It will sell 100 shares. It will sell whatever quantity you have typed in here at the market price and this order will remain open until you cancel it meaning that even if it takes two months from now before the spy crosses back below the 200 sma your order will still be out there and working it will still execute it will still work so you don't have to pay attention to the markets all the time and not only do you not have to pay attention to the markets i think the best part about conditional orders is that you don't have a chance to second guess yourself, right? How many times have you had like trade rules and you can admit it. Listen, I'll admit it. I've done this. You've had trade rules. Hey, I'm going to get stopped out of this trade if this happens. Then it happens and you're supposed to push that button, but you just don't want to because what if it turns around? What if, what if, what if? Well, in a conditional order, you're not forced to make that decision. It will do it automatically for you reading the description submit the following order sell 100 shares of spy at current market price the order is valid until either filled or canceled great wait until the following condition is satisfied spy study close below 200 simple moving average length on the daily chart is true this order will show a wait condition status during waiting all of that sounds right. Of course, you would then hit save and then you would hit confirm and send. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to sell 100 shares of SPY right now. But that is how you create and set up a conditional order to limit your downside risk in your investing strategies. So after this short video, you now know a way that you can protect the downside risk in your investments moving forward and you know how you can set up a conditional order so that you will always be covered automatically if there were to be dramatic changes in the S&P 500. Once again, both the code for the strategy and the conditional order are available on daytradingstrategies.net. There'll be a link at the top of the description down below. If you click it, go sign up right now and use discount code END. You're going to get a little bit off your first month. You're going to get access to all of my coded strategies, custom indicators, scanners, all for only $15 on your first month. And of course, you can cancel at any time under the My Account tab. Daytradingstrategies.net, link at the top of the description down below. Go sign up and become a better trader today. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. <laughs>